good morning. Welcome from Carrier Family Farms. Here once again to discuss another walnut shipping report. Actually in our new offices that we're almost ready to move into. Yeah, so we're out here in the new plant and um, like Amy said, we're gonna talk about the shipping report. So far, it looks like another strong shipment for the last month. Um, good to see that. Inshell's a little bit down, but we expected that because we're running out of inshell in California. So kernels are still up there, still moving volume and it was a very promising shipment report. Yeah, absolutely. And I think today what three topics we really want to touch base on is um, estimated carrion from 22 crop, color and quality that is left, and talk a little bit about how chili is playing into the market right now and the amount of halves that we have available. Yeah. So on our carrion front, um, it's actually looking a lot better than we originally anticipated when we started off this year. Um, demand was very slow, but it's picked up, and we've seen uh, a lot of our volume actually be shipped or committed. So looking at new crop carrion, it's gonna be hopefully less than 100,000 tons, um, which would be awesome for the new crop uh, starting, uh, starting point when we get to marketing. Yeah, and I think part of that is one of the other topics we wanted to cover, which was color and quality. Uh, we know we had a really tough growing season last year, and the quality and color weren't, weren't near where we would like them to be. Um, and so we had a lot of rougher material and darker colored product to work through. And the USDA buy-in helped remove some of that. So between the USDA buy, the amount of quality that we have, it looks like we're coming in pretty tight. Yeah, speaking of the USDA buy, um, we, we saw so much volume go into that, we actually don't have enough of the combo material uh, to, to put into that buy. So, as an industry, we're going to see some light material even uh, carry into there. Um, and that's just putting more, more pressure on the light we have left and the amount of halves we have left. Um, so like we talked, we had really dark quality. Um, we've got most of that moved and spoken for. Uh, and now we have just a little bit of light left to, to deal with. Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, half count wise, same thing we're seeing. Not a lot of um, higher half count product left uncommitted in the market. So for those who have waited long term, they're really going to have to rely on chili at this point. And we have noticed that chili is coming in with some pretty uh, strong pricing comparatively. Yeah, yeah we've seen chili uh, open up with, with relatively higher prices than where we were in California. Um, and they've been able to increase those over the past few weeks and have been moving their volume pretty, pretty substantially. So that should paint a picture again for us opening it up in a much healthier, much more positive um, open for the California walnuts this year. And that's not only good for our growers, it's good for our customers as well. We can create more of a stable uh, market and buying environment. Well, as always, we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please tune in to the next video, which will be a orchard update, where we'll look at the crop with Jared in the fields. Um, and as always, we appreciate your feedback. Thank you and have a good day.